is Harry Potter's birthday and we wanted to talk to a few people about how that little book came to the region. It also highlighted some of our most amazing locations and went on to be kind of a global success. Interestingly enough, when Harry Potter came to film in the North East, nobody knew what Harry Potter was above it being a children's book. We had, prior to that, along with the British Film Commission, we'd hosted a visit of US studio execs and Duncan Henderson, who was one of the execs eventually on Harry Potter, had been on that trip. We'd hosted them in the North East for, um, I think, about two or three days. They'd had helicopter rides, we'd had um, dinner and moonlit walks through Belsa. They'd also been to Annick Castle and to various other of the, you know, the highlight locations in the region. Uh, and it was probably about a year later we got a call from the location manager saying that Duncan remembered the castles that he'd seen in the North East and would we be interested in showing them around for, for what was Harry Potter, nobody knew it, but obviously turned into be a phenomenon over the next few years. Durham Cathedral is just an amazing venue, it's an amazing place, but more than that, it's the people who work there, it was the attitude that they had towards dealing with filming. Sometimes it's just easier to say no, but they didn't do that. They took every request and they properly considered it and they thought it through. We spent a long time talking to them about what filming might look like, what they should expect, fees wise, what they should expect to be paid, what they might like to you know, promote themselves with. So. It is just an amazing place. The, the challenge with Durham Cathedral was that obviously they have services and these services have to go ahead. So it was also then working with the production company to make sure that we could film around the services so the cathedral could still operate while they were there. Hi, welcome to Durham Cathedral. My name's Simeon and I'm part of the visitor experience team here at this beautiful building. Just behind me is one of the scenes that was used for the Harry Potter movies. Welcome to Hogwarts, which featured in the first two Harry Potter movies. So here at the Cathedral, we were involved quite heavily in the production of the movie. The Cloisters was Hogwarts School in the first two movies, and the Chapter House was used by Dame Maggie Smith to fill in the magic lesson scenes uh, for Professor McGonagall's classroom. Within the Cathedral, the third Triforium on the left-hand side, if you look up, was where Fluffy the three-headed dog scene was filmed and just outside the chapter house is where Harry set Dobby the house elf free when he gave him his little white sock. Having a big film investment here at the cathedral allows us to put back into the investment of the cathedral which allows us to run and maintain this beautiful building. Here at Durham Cathedral we are unique to anyone who wants to film with us. We are able to transform an everyday place into something magical, something new and something very unique. We are very warm and welcoming to anyone who wants to come and film with us. We are experienced in what we do and we can offer a very unique and outstanding service to anyone who wishes to join us. We welcome all of our visitors to experience the magic of Harry Potter and to take home with them a little piece of the magic that we have daily around us here at the Cathedral. We have a, an online database where people can promote their locations. That's everything from somebody's private home to their castle, to their industrial site, to beaches and coastline, all of those kinds of things. Uh, we use that database to promote the region. Once we get productions talking to us and interested in the locations, we take them round to various places, let them meet people, let them see the potential for filming. And for the locations themselves, is exactly what Durham Cathedral did. It's thinking about how it would work for them. It's considering it with an open mind, also being ready to kind of go, that doesn't work for us. What about this? Um, and just being amenable to it, really. Um, it is, you know, the, it, it can be tricky, it can be intrusive, but that's what the location fees are for. That's why people pay to use locations because it's, you know, it can be a little bit disruptive.